gosh, guys. What is this? He's way out there. Good morning, everybody. It's October 10th. Holy cow, it's October 10th already. Anyway, uh, I had hoped to get on the kayak uh, and go do some fishing this week. Uh, now that I got the car back, but just a bunch of stuff come up this week. So I took my dog to the vet. Just got some stuff going on with my best friend. Um, so obviously that takes priority. My beautiful girl Liberty is going to get put to sleep today to get some x-rays. You'll be all right. I'm not gonna be far. Look at. Um, so obviously I don't want to go far, uh, but the boat ramp's just down the street. So I figure while I'm waiting for them to give me a phone call on uh, when to pick her up, um, we can at least just go to the boat ramp and throw out the cast net and the, the small ultralight rig and see if we can't catch a bunch of bait for maybe later this week if uh, some time opens up or just so we can use later um, here's a clip of my aquarium <laughs> is all stuff that um, I have caught and I also worked in a refugium refugium is that how you pronounce it anyway but it's basically like a secondary tank that you know you, you run the lights on the opposite cycle and that helps eliminate a lot of the algae and all that kind of stuff but I'm using it also as a bait tank and basically that aquariums all cycled clean and then in the bottom there is uh, where I put a lot of my finger mullet and small baits of that size and they'll stay alive for forever in there. And uh, if they die, I just take them and toss them in the freezer for frozen bait, cup bait. Um, so it, it just saves time if, instead of having to try and squeeze in catching bait early in the morning before you go, if I can just scoop up some fresh bait that I know is fresh um, right there at the house. So. Uh, Let's catch some more bait, fill up our uh, bait tank, and uh, yeah, maybe later this week we can go. Of course, while I'm at the boat ramp, you know, we'll toss out a live bait and just see what we can get. But uh, we'll probably just go for a couple hours, and then uh, I gotta go to the store. I broke my microwave. It's just, you know, you know how it is. Life sometimes it just keeps throwing it at you. But we're gonna take care of it. So, um, anyway, stay tuned. Can't really see any 
The water's just so crappy right now that I can't really see any uh, at the bait, so it's kind of like I'm throwing blind. Usually you want to see the fish before you, you know. Got me some fresh bait here. Let's take one of these. Little finger mullets. Let's put them on this hook. And this toss them out there live. Circle hook, I've you leave my fish alone, Broski. Got this little teeny piece at the corner. I'm using salted shrimp this time. See if it lasts longer. Look how tiny that is. That's what I like to do when I'm waiting for my mullet to be eaten. Guys, what is this? Dude, it's almost got me spooled. way out there. What the? Oh, it just broke off. Oh my God, what was that? That was huge. It felt like I was stuck on the bottom, you guys. Oh my gosh, straight up just broke it. Thirty pound mono. Damn it. That was my freaking boat ramp monster right there. Dude, 
dude, that was nuts. Oh my goodness. Gee, you guys. By the time I noticed, I had so much line pulled out. can't get whatever it is again. It felt like it wasn't... Then again though, it felt almost like a stingray because it like... It was almost just stuck. It was almost like, a, like I said, it was almost like a stack snagged on the bottom. I, did, I couldn't get it to move. Like at one point, it just wasn't pulling line. It was just sitting there. So crazy. Whatever's. Hopefully there's more than one of them, but definitely putting the smaller hook on those smaller little finger molars made a difference. But then again, though, could I've landed that tooth, whatever it was, might have been toothy. Bigger hook, maybe. All right, so we just hung out at the boat ramp for about an hour and a half, and now I'm gonna. Now that some stores are open, I'm gonna go take care of a few errands that I need to run. Uh, we got ourselves some, some bait to fill up our um, little uh, live well bait tank at home. Uh, I also did, as you saw in the video, I had something huge take my mullet. Uh, just started screaming. But then when I set the hook, it, it almost like sat there and didn't move. It almost kind of like a stingray would. So I'm not, I'm not too sure what it was. Uh, whatever it was, you know, broke the line. 30 pound mono um, I mean for all I know it could have been a manatee that got hooked and then he just sat there um, not sure but definitely got my heart going but anyway as always it's always fun just to get out on the water um, I'm gonna try and take care of as much as I can today and if everything goes you know well maybe I could sneak in an, uh, another fishing trip this week and uh, maybe even get the kayak out but uh, until then, everybody, I'll uh, keep trying to make some videos and just sharing my uh, experiences on the water. Until next time, everybody. Tight lines. Peace.